Was he on the social media? Yeah. Yeah. That's so common nowadays, targeted <laughs> victims on the internet, you know? Well, uh, it's common. Shooting is common. It was, is common. It Robbery is common. Yes. Thief is common. It's more, co more often now with the internet. You know, people are predatory more than they were before. Yeah. I mean, before it was phone calls, mail, it was stuff, you know? <laughs> nowadays, it's the internet. You log on to social media, you don't know. Uh, you have to practice. You have to actually pay attention. They, they use. They they don't use their own names. They don't use their own faces. Mm -hmm. They use memes. They try to hide behind the rules and regulations, the community standards, or whatever it is. If they show up at your door, the police are like, "I'll oh, take a photo. We'll try," but they don't do anything. They're like, "It's allowed." I'm like, "It's not allowed." Someone comes off the internet at my front door. I'm calling security and the police. It's happened. Yes. When was like she was on drugs? And I'm like, I don't want you at my door. I didn't let you in. And there's other ones too. It's really a sad world, you know. I don't like shut off the radio. Yeah, I haven't listened I to. I was listening to mute or traffic. There is no news in traffic. Every, every half an hour, one hour. There is it all crime. Exactly. This thing happened, this thing happened. This thing happened, this thing happened. This thing happened. Yeah. Thing happened. Well, uh, that's why the, the, the government blaming on the police force to pay for the suspension of officer. It cost taxpayers over $160 million from 2013. Well, what is this? Well, if, if the guys, the officers, it's me, I got suspended, I shouldn't get paid for them. I sit at home and I get paid. Oh, yeah. It's awful. It is. Well, especially for you, ma. You, on that time you were downtown, Toronto, or some other area, that time is the gold time. Yeah. There's no more gold. It's all silver or bronze. Yeah, not before 1985. Oh yeah. It's a, it's different. Well, I came 1986. We didn't. We never locked the door in the apartment. Forget about the house. It's open, and nothing happened. And now, you don't trust to your neighbor. Oh, I know what that's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're on the internet, social media, so, I mean, what? that's a double. And they're like, they're, they're like, we need protection from you. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> we don't want to know you. There's boundaries, you know, in an apartment nowadays. You can't leave your front back door open. If there's boundaries. You're, you stay in your own space. Condo or apartment, they write it down. Don't open the door for anyone. Exactly. If the mailman coming, they have to be here. If the delivery person coming, they know how to call you. Know? Yes. Was the door? No. Even in the bank. The bank in the lobby, I go to check my account. The guy sleeping watching like this on the corner. Uh, if somebody can take cash, they're going to jump on him and take the money. And somebody called, if I live in Grantham, TD, RBC, Scotia, three bank, three people lay down on the lobby. Oh. Police came, pulled him out, did his document, I said, and then I heard that say, I don't see your face anytime in these days. This is a warning. You got mid time, you're going straight to here. Because people they live in the house. They're coming for to steal if somebody pull money or draw or deposit money. Or if it's somebody you used to know or they allege they knew you and they do anything the police are like nothing we can do about it. 
And I'm like, why? If we don't want to know them for more than 20 years and all of a sudden they show up, why do we have to allow them? And some police are like, oh, we'll go, give a warning. No. Like a warning isn't anything. No. They should warning be part just like I talk to them, don't sleep here. They should be monitoring them, and as soon as they show up, even through security, they should yeah. be picked up and taken yeah. away, and put in jail. Put it's in, happening too many in times. The on the TV. Exactly. They are the people. If they, you see them again, they're sleeping there. Call the police to take them in custody. Exactly. But they just give them, like you say, okay, this is the warning. Next time you're going to be in this and this. Exactly. They don't care about it. Some of my friends are like, get peace bond, get restraint. I'm like, but to go through all that monitoring, I, I, it makes me feel uneasy because I feel threatened, you know, that if they see me documenting their comings and goings to give to the justice of peace, to the, you know, they could get worse before they even served, you know. When someone's told not to come back and they keep coming back, that's really scary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, these people on the road, begging for money. Police get 